everyone and welcome to weekly trading ideas. My name is Nenad. Today it's August 26th and uh, we go with the new live trading ideas. Uh, before uh, I start, have in mind that Forex trading carries a high level of risk that is not suitable for all investors. So please educate yourselves on the risk associated with Forex market before you start trading live. Everything you see and hear from me is my personal opinion only. Uh, these are trading rules uh, that we usually use. So please, if you're not sure how we use uh, these uh, rules, uh, pause the screen and read through it. Uh, for all uh, results, you can uh, visit my FX book account. Uh, it's been shared, and uh, I'm uh, I have connected my FX book account, so you can easily check our performance at myfxbook.com. Uh, so I hope that you enjoy these uh, trading ideas and that you've been enjoying these trading ideas so far. Definitely, uh, we have a lot of success with it. I'm also monitoring uh, your questions, so if you have any questions, guys, do not hesitate to ask me. You can read my free analysis at EliteCurrency.com, also at uh, FXDD.com and uh, Forex Street. So feel free to, of course, feel free to uh, watch my webinar, my analysis there also. Uh, so, guys, now we are actually uh, ready to proceed uh, with uh trading ideas i will go step by step uh, slowly with camarilla macd so this is camarilla macd uh for our template i've been uh, last couple of months i have had uh, excellent results with camarilla macd for hours so i switched to four hour trading because uh, i've had like uh, 30 wins and maybe five losses so so far it's going quite well so let's see for example the last dollar singapore dollar trade was excellent very very good and i'm still in and guys if you want to hear more about these exclusive ideas and pairs uh, sign up of course uh <coughs> for uh my uh for our ecs live service so let's go with 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 uh, with the euro dollar first so i think the euro dollar could be actually a trend change uh here we have a setup that is still short you see but these are shorts but i guess that uh, this candle is way 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 too big so it is rejecting but uh, it's tricky i would say that around 11 uh, here allow 11 70 maybe could be a sell but now you see the price is still it's very unclear where the euro dollar will go in my opinion it could start an up move so i would say that 1188 1180 to 90 is actually a counter trend opportunity uh for trend shorts is tricky i don't see now a signal from my method so i guess we, we need to see the cross actually of these two moving averages for the next signal because the price hit uh, the Bollinger Band. Yeah, you see, uh, yeah, uh, this is a few questions. Is this new MTF? Yes, Marco, Woody, man, you guys are good. Thanks, Woody. And Ali, hi, Nenad, Camino, make the four hour setup results are over 80% as far as I see in recent weeks. You are great with this Camino, make the system excellent. Yes. Yes, over 80 percent, over 80, 80 uh, percent successful. Uh, it's tricky. This this one, this euro dollar on weekly time frame. I see shorts. This is definitely shorts. Daily time frame is you see it crossed it. Actually, it, it very tricky uh i mean we could see shorts but if this is <laughs> i don't have the alignment on weekly daily and four hour that that's the problem now i don't see the the alignment although this small arrow could print out as the price pull back to the middle bollinger band line so i would say we might have a short on euro dollar around 1170 Let, let's use this guys so euro dollar is okay now where is it insert 
text box. Okay, I I will try like this. Uh, euro dollar euro dollar is in downtrend, but we could see a trend change. That is the the thing, guys. Uh, positional sell is one point eleven eighty. Just add a couple of pips there. Stop loss is stop loss is one point twelve twenty. Target is one point ninety. Alternative buy is one point. Watch for rejections around eleven eighty, around ten eighty, ten ninety. Stop loss needs to go at one ten forty. And target for this move is one point eleven eighty. I don't. Yeah, obviously yes, eleven ninety, eleven. 1180, So this is not ideal guy setup. I need to tell you. This is not ideal setup because I don't see a clear entry here. I don't see a clear entry, really. So we need to be careful. Okay, we really need to be careful. So if you do this, uh, do this with a low risk. And also, yeah, I still need to make the video for this four hour. For Camarilla make the members, I need to make the video, guys, for you. Because uh, we have the VS tool also av uh, available here. So, yeah, let's wait. But I would, I would, I would still prefer shorts. So let's see. Uh, my account is a bit good. Uh, just give me a few seconds. I will, I will show you my account, my FX book, just a little bit later. Yeah, yeah, definitely. I, there was some happy trigger, trigger happy <laughs> with bigger risk. Definitely not just Dex, but I actually traded uh, not Dex. It was Nikkei index also, GBP New Zealand. It was also uh, some Chinese markets, and everything went in profit and boosted my account. But either way, it's it's pretty much good. I'm, I'm sticking to my risk ever since. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> okay, let's go with GBP dollar. I'm thinking about shorting this, but again, similar thing to nah, this isn't short now. This looks like it could go up. I think this is going to go up if it drops here, guys. This is trend change. Now, I still need a confirmation from middle Bollinger Band line. Wiz is confirming a trend change, and I need from MACD confirmation. So I would say 2180 is long. On uh, 2180 is long. 20. Yeah, 2180 is long. Let's use this. Alternative sell. Al no, sorry. Positional buy. I think the trend has changed here. I don't have a confirmation from uh, Camarillo McD regarding trend change, but this could be a trend change. I mean, if it price gets to 2170, 60, 70, I think this could be this could be the buy opportunity. Stop loss here is yeah, below middle Bollinger Band line, 2130. And the target, guys, is okay. The target is twenty three. Okay, alternative sell, guys. This is where I would sell to twenty three. Stop loss is. 2360 target is 22 well guys this is the target 2230 the australian dollar yeah so guys i will give you the australian dollar new zealand because i have this trade with my telegram group 
I have this trade with my Telegram group. And yeah, for more guys, join ECS live service. You will have more of these guys, more of these, okay? Ah, uh, more of these if you join ECS live. But let's let's use it. Australian New Zealand is in uptrend. <laughs> Clear idea, huh? Well, why not? And I also trade something that. I haven't traded before with great success. Dollar Singapore dollar, and I added a Norwegian crown yen. Nok yen. This is Norwegian crown yen. I'm also watching that pair. So this also will be, there will be signals in the future. This one. It's on my watch list. This is the signal from Camarilla make the MTF. The price reached the Bollinger Band. So it qualified, with qualified, everything qualified because this is uptrend. Four hour, daily, weekly. Everything is in momentum mode. Okay, and this is V-shaped reversal. So that is why I went with maybe a little bit higher risk than I usually do. But yeah, I'm confident in this one. Uh, Nokia doesn't have liquidity. Let me check. Let me check something. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you, you're right. You're, you're right, Ilya. Nokia doesn't have liquidity, but it looks like trend is respected a lot. But yes, it's very, very slow. I agree. I agree. Maybe I was just taking a look because of this. You see, when there is a trend, there is excellent, excellent entries. But it will take ages. You're right. No liquidity, indeed. Okay, doesn't matter. Let's use this, what we have here. Yeah, my usual risk per, per trade is in between 1 and 3%. So 0 0.5 and 3%. But then again, you are the masters, guys, of your own account. So you can go with high risk. I'm just giving recommendations on my Telegram channel based on what you should do maybe if you don't know about the risk management. But you can go with higher. But do not exceed 5%. Never, never, ever. Yeah, a quick question, guys, and I will move on again to next pair. Uh, the question, using Emma Cross, is what is it again about hitting the Bollinger Band? Uh, for... The trade to qualify, this small arrow to qualify, the price needs to hit the Bollinger Band first. And only then this small arrow is qualified. You see, why didn't I take this entry here? Because it didn't hit the Bollinger Band. You see this arrow here? It didn't hit the Bollinger Band three, four hours prior to that. The price needs to hit Bollinger Band like this. Okay. See here, the price hit Bollinger Band, it's okay to take the entry. But if the price doesn't hit the Bollinger Band, let's say, uh, let's see some examples where it didn't hit the Bollinger Band. Then I don't, you see here, okay, this was a good one, but this arrow, I wouldn't trade it because the price didn't hit Bollinger Band. Bollinger Band is the best dynamic support resistance level uh, indicator available. Dynamic support and resistance. I'm talking about dynamic levels. It, it's following It's following the price. It's actually a leading indicator because it follows the price real time. The middle Bollinger Band is just giving you the daily trend because if the middle Bollinger Band is, is going sidestepping up, the middle Bollinger Band, this is the middle Bollinger Band on daily time frame. So I'm using multiple time frame on this template. That is why it's so successful. We use multiple time frame analysis, not just one time frame. We use weekly and daily and trade on four hour. That is why it has more than 80% success ratio. Uh, Ilya, you're, you're co totally correct with, with the explanation. Okay, now let's move on to next one. Dollar CAD. Dollar CAD is... 
here. I think it's an uptrend, if I'm not mistaken. It's, it's, this is ranging market, guys. It's uptrend, but it's ranging. You see? It's flat. It's completely flat. I wouldn't go with setup on dollar cad. I don't know what it, it, it is going to happen. This, this is what I don't like to see. Let's see, check New Zealand dollar. I have a counter trend trade signal, but I was I already burned uh, my trade on this counter trend, so I'm not taking this counter trend. Maybe this will be good, but thank you. I don't. I'm not taking counter trends now. Really, I want to keep uh, good uh, profit to loss. Really, with a counter trend, I usually uh, I go wrong with, with four hours. So I mean, yeah, it can be good, it can be great, but you need a bigger stop. So I'm 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 taking the break now from counter trend. Cad yen, I would go with this one. And you see here, this was a qualified trade. The price can it, it, it hit like for a pip. So I would say this trade was good. We also have this one dot. I think we added, we had this, or we didn't have this uh, last week. You see, I'm not I can't remember. Maybe we 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 traded this one, but it was good, you see. Double, triple confirmation here. These dots are excellent. Re-entry dots. So I would say 80-20 is a short here. Dollar, so we don't go with dollar CAD, we go with CAD yen. So CAD yen is in downtrend. CAD yen is in downtrend. Entry is 80-20. Stop loss is 80. I'm sticking with technicals, definitely. <laughs> uh, oh, stop loss is... Well, guys, you need to be prepared for these stop losses, but you need to manage the risk inside the stop loss. And the TP is 78.90. So, Kedian... Now we go with Bitcoin, guys. I, I'm not trading and I don't trade Bitcoin dollar, but I do analyze it. Pfft, ranging market. This is the cell 10, 9, 8, 6. This is the buy here. Something in, in between. I would say 20, uh, 96, 50. So 10. So let's say 10, 9, 90 okay it's ranging okay okay it's okay i would say entry 10 90 entry long 10 90 90 stop loss 11. Uh, no, sorry, we go with 100 pip stop loss. So it's 11, 0, 90. Target is, well, TP is, I guess this is it. The TP is 90, 96.50. I would say so. 99.80. Right, let's go. 99.80. Entry short. Sorry, this is short. Entry long, uh, 99.80, stop loss, 100 pips, 98.80, the target is 10.90.90, so entry long, so I will rephrase this, entry long, and gold, 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 gold. Let's see the gold. Gold is uptrend. I analyzed this. I, I hope that you read my analysis on gold. Today, definitely uptrend. But I, I, I would wait for more of a pullback, guys. I would I would go with potentially 15-15. Entry long is 15-15. Stop loss 1530. Sorry, uh, 50 pips stop loss 1520. Target is 
What did I do? Target is 1564. This is where I would go with a short trade, probably. So alternative, guys, this is an alter alternative trade. So let's use this, okay? Uh, uh, so positional sell, we will rephrase this, okay? Positional trades are trend trades, alternative trades are counter trend. So uh, I'm from now on, I will be using this. This is more clear. Entry long, entry short, okay? And you go with a trend. If if it says downtrend, then uh, <laughs> then you just make it clear this is entry this is counter trend entry short so you know what to do yeah bank holiday in the uk indeed uh, uh dow jones 30 let's use guys you can ask me questions now i will do quick analysis dow jones okay dow 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 dow, dow. let's see if i have it here actually uh not sure that i i actually don't follow the, that market that much just from time to time but it should be here is footsie and yes here it is usa 30 here yeah this looks short this is a short signal here but now it's pulling back so i would say you can go short but this is going to go up now. So I think US 30 is going to go up. This equity is going up. And maybe you might want to be careful, even if you want to short it. This could be a bigger. Now, obviously, if it breaks 26,374, it goes up. This high is important. It, it's going to go towards 26557. But you see this candle. I think if this closes above weekly H3, this is long. Yeah, I would also be careful with shorting the equities. FTSE. Yeah, today is holiday actually, right? So yeah obviously this was dropping you see how i mean i don't trade equities i analyze them but with camarilla mcd i think this could also be very very good you see how it performs gbp australian dollar daniel is asking okay gbp australian dollar let me check yeah This looks like it's going up, although it's rangy, but it, this is uptrend, obviously. I would go with long. So next signal, maybe around 1.7980 or here, 80.12, if the price rejects and makes a new turn, bullish candle. Yes. So maybe bullish candle here, guys. If the price goes to 80.12, or I mean here, it's okay. It already touched it. And makes a bullish candle, this goes up. If the price drops here, 79, 78, or eventually 79, 20, here, this is the zone. Reversal candle up should, should make it move up. I think this, if it drops there, it goes up. So this is uptrend. Definitely. GBP Australian dollar. And next thing, this could definitely, if it rejects, here i think it will test first a weekly l3 because this is you see we have level we have with and weekly l3 this zone will be tested if it rejects so i guess guys i covered it all your questions and what you asked if you have anything else to add and ask feel free but this is it basically this is it we don't have anything more than this 
Yeah, so S&P 500. Thanks for your... And gold. Davor is asking about gold. Woody is saying you're a true genius. Thank you. Uh, okay, gold and... Uh, but I, yeah, I told, I told you about gold. I, I would go long on gold, definitely. And uh, S&P 500. Let's see S&P 500. Okay. But gold is going up. I, I would buy the dip on gold. Oh, this is short, obviously. Yeah, but it's going up. You see, same thing. With, with indices are pretty much aligned. This is now pulling back. So watch for 29.13 and 28.84. If it closes about 28.84, it will go there. But it's still short, but it's, it's ranging. So there could be a trend change. Uh, Henrik, this is Camarilla MACD uh, method and it's uh, not free. So if you are a part of ECS Live, uh, we can give you a discount. If you are not part of ECS Live, then yeah, you, you need to buy it with a full price on our website and you will gain DCS Live service for three months, I think. So yeah, this is not free method. This is Camarilla McD MTF. So yeah, th th that's it, guys. Uh, let's see what will happen. I guess everything is clear. And guys, I wish you a great, great, great Monday and great rest of the week. Uh, I will see you soon in my ECS Live group. For all else, guys, see you next week. Let's see what will happen. I will roll the slides again. And then... This webinar will be uploaded to YouTube channel, guys. So here we go. Euro dollar, GBP dollar, the Australian dollar, New Zealand, the dollar CAD, Bitcoin dollar, and gold. So this is all. Chris is on vacation, guys. And yeah, he has a holiday, so he will be back in two weeks, I think. And good vacation indeed. Thank you, guys. Uh, Marco, uh, I uh, send me an email. I will uh, send you the link. Cheers. Talk soon.